Just a potter in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass Keep a hustler heated Weed Okay, in this video, I'm finally going to be installing the Cobb access port. I got um, one of the first steps that I think anyone, at least doing the initial install, should should take is uh, to hook up a battery charger. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, the first step is going to be to take the OBD2 adapter and plug it into the car. Okay, so don't mind my car being so dirty, but this is where the OBD2 port is on the car, and that's just uh, to the left of the clutch pedal. So we're just going to take this, plug it right in there. It'll only go one way, so if it doesn't go in right the first time, just try it again. So there we have our access port hooked up. Okay, so as far as where to mount this thing, I'm really not sure yet. Um, I did purchase a vent mount, so I'm probably going to put it right here on this vent. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put it on my lap to install the software. Okay, first thing we're going to do is select continue. Install. So, we're going to in click install. If you remember from the earlier video, we added the maps and updated the firmware. Verify ignition is on the on position. It was not. It is now. You can see here it says confirm vehicle matches the identification results. 2017 USDM WRX manual transmission that is or correct okay so here's our map options we got anti-theft mode stage zero And Sage 191, Stage 193. That is not a touch screen. So, something to be mine. So, I'm not sure why there's two of them. Uh, maybe some already came on there and I just re added them, but it didn't show any. So, again, it recommends a battery charger, and I have a battery charger on it, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so it's going to save the factory ECU settings. I want to see what's going on in the dash. It's a whole bunch of nothing, but all the lights are on, which seems abnormal. Okay, it looks like it finished saving the factory ECU. Now it looks like we're going to be flashing the ECU to the 93 octane stage one tune. Okay, it looks like it just finished. It says uh, turn off the ignition. Ignition is off. And hit continue. Okay, so now it says to turn it on. So it's resetting the ECU. Okay. Now it says to turn the ignition key off at least 15 seconds before starting vehicle. 
and continue. Okay, then looks like here's our options now. We got gauges, performance, troubleshooting, tune, and uninstall. Let's check out the gauges. So we can do performance, zero to 60 and quarter mile. Troubleshooting. You can check codes. Like you can adjust idle, flat foot shifts, launch control. change map and all that good stuff so for now I think I'm just going to want to look at gauges I'm going to turn on the vehicle now for the first time It says the tire pressure is low. I'm not sure if that's just it needs to learn it. That's what I'm assuming it is because my tire pressure is not low. Not that I know of at least. Okay, so we're gonna look at gauges. Six. 